Let's decorate the porch for spring. Hey guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. I have another plan for today's video, but the weather is not cooperating here. It is more like winter than spring. Let me know how the weather is where you live. So have to a little bit of change of plans for what I wanted to do today, but that's okay. We're going to work with it. Uh, I'm just excited to get outside and do some spring things outside. So I figured we'll do add a little touch of spring to the front porch. Nothing much. I like what I have on the front porch right now. Um, I have some faux cedar trees out there that I've shared before that I had there from Christmas. I used them there before. I think I'll switch them out to ferns, but probably not until the weather breaks. But one thing I do want to do is switch out the wreaths that I have on the front door. I still have the cedar winter wreaths on the front doors. And I was thinking of doing some baskets on the front door, which I've done before. The ones I have though are from Hobby Lobby. I want to do something a little bit different. So I looked up online to see if there were any at any of the stores and Michael's I think has them. So we'll run to Michael's, see how they look in the store um, and then see if they have any pretty faux flowers to add to them to make them some really pretty hanging baskets for the front door. And then just, you know, kind of look around, see if there's anything else. And then uh, come back and decorate the front porch a little bit for spring, just to add a little touch of spring here. So hopefully then eventually spring will be here and we can get outdoors and do some more gardening and planting and all the spring things. So let's head to Michael's to see what they have. I haven't been to Michael's in a while, so I'm excited to see what they have. And they have the baskets and these are going to work out perfect. I also love that these have a liner so you could add some real flowers as well. They also had these baskets, but they were a little bit smaller and they also had another smaller size basket of the ones that I'm picking up. So I'm going to grab two of these and then we are going to head over and take a look at their faux flowers and they have a variety of faux flowers and they're only $4.99 and I love all of these big beautiful stems. Tons of lilacs and tulips and daffodils and you can't beat the price. So look at all of these beautiful daffodils, all the beautiful spring colors i like these flowers but i wasn't like i didn't like the leaves on that too much look at these beautiful geraniums these hanging geraniums so these were really pretty too and they are weather resistant as well i love these tulips i picked up a bunch of these last year and i would go with tulips but i feel like the season is really short on tulips and by the time i start decorating with tulips it's time to change them out to something different so i'm going to pick something different but look at how pretty these tulips would look in the basket too i love these purple lilacs aren't they pretty and they're such a big stem for only 4.99 And I also ran into Home Depot really quick and they had these big, beautiful Boston ferns, two for 20, so I grabbed a couple of those too. I just got home from Michael's and I got the baskets as well as lots of flowers. I even picked up a few of the daffodil stems. Now I really love at Michael's the snowball stems, which I actually have in the basket back there. And I was thinking about doing that in these two, but I couldn't pass up this deal for these lilacs that they had in so many different colors. They had purple, they had pink, and they had white. And I like the white because I think that these will even transition into uh, summer too, because they're just really pretty and I just love that neutral pop too. I also love that these were right now $4.99 a stem, and these stems are really big. So they will fill out the basket really, really nice. They're just so pretty. So I ended up buying a bunch of them. I can't, I don't even remember how many I got because I think that I might even put a basket um, next to maybe the lantern or somewhere also on the ground there too, just to kind of carry that uh, look throughout. So here are even more. <laughs> and then I got the, the daffodils too, just to play with. 
just in case because I thought those were really pretty and just that little pop of spring too. Um, so we'll see. So again, these were $4.99 a stem on sale. I'll link everything, the baskets and everything. So, so again, here are the baskets. I love the neutral color and I love the size. I think the size is going to be perfect for the doors. I have double front doors, so I plan on hanging one on each door. Um, and I thought the price was pretty, pretty good on them too. They were $29.99, 50% off. Then I had a coupon too. So I thought they were good. And I also like that they are lined with the plastic. So you could even uh, plant some uh, real flowers in there too, which I'm considering maybe later in the season would be really, really pretty too. So I like that they even have that liner in there as well. As much as I would love to use real flowers, the faux flowers will be just as pretty. So again, here are the white lilacs. I love how full one bunch of these were for $4.99. I thought that was an excellent deal and I love the color too. So I'm thinking about adding some floral foam to the bottom just to give the stems a little stability so they don't wobble out, especially with opening and closing the door. <laughs> they could wobble out or if we have a little birdie fly on them, you know, they could come out. So let me see if I have some floral foam to stick on the bottom of this just to give it a little stability. I didn't have luck finding some floral foam, but I did have some styrofoam cups which I've used before, so I think I'm gonna use these instead. And I actually think they're gonna work out better because they're a little bit taller. Uh, so I love using, you know, styrofoam cups. I probably have some floral foam. I just, I didn't look hard enough. So I'm gonna stick a few of these um, styrofoam cups in the bottom, like so. But I think I might add one more too. So I'm going to add three. We'll see how if I can squeeze another one in here without cracking it. Oh, perfect. And it actually holds it in there nice and tight. So I have three of them in there. And I like that it actually makes it a little bit higher. So it'll really keep them from uh, jiggling out. And I'm going to uh, just keep all the tags on just until I get these hung outside. Make sure I don't like them, you know. So anyways, here again are the beautiful white lilacs. They had such a beautiful selection of these flowers. I think they were called the basic basic bushes. Um, you can't beat. So let's put one here. I'm just going to make a new hole. I reuse these cups <laughs> after. So, you know, if you make one hole, you can, you know, use them a few times before you get rid of them. And, um, Sometimes I use them in my like indoor arrangements on my table too, so I save them. Um, but you could even use probably the same hole. And then we'll stick another one here. And we'll fluff these better once we get outside too, once they're on the door. I'll just make a different hole. I put that in the same hole and I didn't. It was too big. So we'll make another hole. Look at how pretty just the two are. Oh, so springy, isn't it? like having some of them fluff over a little bit and let's add another one and we'll put this one over here and this stick it in that cup the styrofoam cups work out perfectly i suppose you could even use a plastic cup and then just make a little slit on the top too so if you don't have styrofoam um floral foam you could always find something else too just so pretty so even if you don't have a door to put this on just even putting it in the basket and setting it somewhere is so pretty or even an indoor door as well hung on an indoor door I just think is lovely so if you maybe have um, if your front door is maybe exposed to the elements ours is covered but maybe just on, a, on an indoor door would be really pretty too I'm gonna fluff this out a little bit and I just used three of the stems. And it's just beautiful. And I like the greenery in this too. Um, there were a few other ones that I liked there, but I wasn't then fond of the greenery. And I like the greenery in this too. It's definitely giving me all of those spring feels. What about you? What do you think? Isn't this pretty? Oh, it is so pretty. So let me make up the other basket and then we'll take these outside. 
I did the same thing just like the first one. I added three of the styrofoam cups and then I'm going to add three of the floral stems. And I love this idea too, so you can change out the stems seasonally in lieu of doing a wreath. This is just such a pretty option for a door as well. And look how pretty this is. And you could probably get away with two stems instead of three. Um, also too, I'll fluff it out a little bit more once I get it on the door too, but I'd like to you know, have some coming, draping down to cascading down. So pretty. I love the simplicity of this as well. So I'm excited to get these on the door and hang them up to see how they look. I also got these hooks to hang them with. Um, I got these on QVC. I used them years ago. They're from Valerie Parhill. Um, I like because I think they're going to hook onto these really well. Um, and they're nice and sturdy. I just use suction cups right now. So I think these were going to work out better. I had these for Christmas and I didn't use them. So I think I'm going to try them out now. Um, but here are both of the baskets. So I have three bundles of the white lilacs in each of them. And they're just so beautiful. So I'm excited to get these on the door to see how they look. Just as I'm about to come outside. Of course, there's snow in the air. And yes, there's snow on the ground too, but it's snowing a little bit too. I was hoping by the time we came outside, it was going to be melted, but it's still snowing a little bit. Anyways, that's spring in Buffalo. But here is the front porch. So these are the faux cedar trees that I added to the front porch a couple of years ago when I did the front porch makeover and turned the doors into uh, faux looking wood doors. And I've put other things here since and added these faux cedar trees back and I planted them in the urns for Christmas and I've just, I've kept them there here since. Um, I still have the lights on. So I'm gonna take the lights off. I did pick up some ferns, but I just don't think it's fern season yet. So I'm gonna hold off on planting those for a few more weeks and we'll come back out and add those once the weather breaks. So I think I'm gonna keep these cedar trees here for the time being. It's really snowing too. It's really, <laughs> oh, just the way it grows. Um, anyways, the cedar wreath I had here from Christmas and actually one of them fell because we have little birdies that like to fly in here and sit on the wreaths too. Uh, the rug here actually is the same rug that I put here when I did the front porch makeover a few years ago and it is still holding up. I still love it um, and it gets all of the elements, all of the weather and it has held up really, really well. So uh, I will link that below too. It's such a great rug. I love it too. It's just, I like the pretty design on it. So anyways, I'm going to keep the lanterns here too. Yes, it's snowing more now. <laughs> but let's see how the beautiful spring baskets look on the door. And then we'll just do a few little things out here just to add a little touch of spring. Maybe a little touch of spring would bring some spring weather here. Can you believe it? It has this weather. <laughs> Anyways, let's go get those baskets and hang them on the door. I'm first gonna hold the basket up against the door and see how I like it. Of course, I love it. So I'm kind of just deciding where on the door I want it. Then I'm going to add my suction cup. These hangers work so well. I actually prefer using these instead of command strips if I can. I've used these for years. I just take the little sticky off the back and place it on the window and then I'll hang my basket. When I hang the other one, I was actually off a little bit so I had to remove it and put it back on and it was no problem. I will put a link to these handy hangers in the description below.
So these are definitely adding a little touch of spring to this front porch. And it's so pretty to be out here, even though it's cold. But listening to the birds, it's very peaceful. And these just, these look really, really pretty. I love them. They fit perfectly. I love how the color of the baskets according to the door. And I love the flowers too. So pretty. So I think I'm ready to clip off the tags. Just fluffing them out a little bit more and we'll see if we get any little bird nests in here. Let me know if you get little birdie nests in on your porch too, because they're always so cute to watch. That looks good. What do you think? I think that looks so pretty. So I'm going to take a step back, see how these look, and then take the um, lights off the trees, finally, and um, clean it up a little bit more out here and maybe make another little basket to add some more of the white lilacs in. So I think that's gonna look really pretty too. Keeping it very simple and springy. I have one light off. Let me get the other lights off. Like I mentioned before, I had some other projects that I wanted to tackle outside, but this is an easy one to do on a day like this where it's really not springy out, but I'll be happy once spring hits that this is done. So then I can enjoy and do something else. Um, so a couple of other things too, then I'm gonna get a basket or something to add a few more of those lilacs in. I have a nail right here. And since I don't have a wreath on the door, I'm thinking of maybe adding a wreath over there too. And I'm gonna have Wayne go to the shed and see if we have any chairs. I think I might have, I know I have one, but I don't know if I have two, I can't remember. Uh, like a wicker chair to put out here too, because it's a good space filler. Uh, even though it's not that big of a space, it's a nice little space filler. And it's nice to have to sit out here, because listen to those birds. I could listen to them all day. It's so peaceful. So let me try one of the wreaths. I grabbed just a simple grapevine wreath. It's an oval one. Then I have this one and I have a couple more in the garage too, but I'm gonna try these two first to see, just to fill in that space. So there's not so much white space. Um, see how that looks to fill it in there. I've had a tobacco, tobacco basket there before. I've had pictures there before. So I always like a little something and I'll see if we can run out to the shed. It's so, it's so muddy out in the back um, to find some kind of chair. I know I have one, might have two. I might just even grab the one. I'd like to, I've seen a few, but of course, I'm looking for ones that I can find at the thrift store for just a few dollars. So um, in the meantime, sometimes just use what you got. So just got a little, it just got a little chilly because it is, it's still snowing here. Um, let me try these. I tried a few wreaths and I like this one merely because it matches the color of the leaves on the flowers in the basket. And I like that cohesive look. Wish it was a tad bit smaller or bigger, but um, I don't mind. I like to use what I have. I just added some ribbon because it was ribbon that I had on one of the wreaths as well. I'm gonna take the tags off everything and then Wayne came out to help me a little bit too. So he is actually cleaning up the porch. He's got the vacuum out. He's even got the blower out. So he's helping me clean up the porch.
Wayne came out to help me sweep the leaves off and we're gonna walk out to the shed in just a minute to see which chairs we have or what chairs we have out there that I could bring out here. He's also going to clean the top of the lanterns for me. So glad that I recruited him to help me out a little bit. Um, so I grabbed a basket from inside too that I had and here's a few more of the lilac stems. And I just have an old pillow on the bottom of it just to add some height. So I think I'm going to fluff those out I think they'll look pretty kind of just uh, spilling out of the basket too. And I like that the basket is the same color as the baskets on the door. So let's run out to the back. You ready to go, Wayne? Yeah. He's gonna, we're gonna go out to the back and see if I could just have a chair to just kind of fill in there, I think would look really nice. And I think it's, how do you like the baskets? Love it. Yeah, it doesn't good. look pretty? Yeah, all right, let's go out and see what chairs we can find. Our yard is a lot of work, but once we get it cleaned up, and summer is here. It's very pretty. So you can see all of the water from all of the snow. So we're kind of just watching where we go. There's one chair over there, but it's pretty beat up. Oh, he found one. I don't know if we have two of those. He's, we're going to the shed and seeing what we can find out here. And I'll be decorating the pool porch too here coming up once the weather breaks so we're gonna see what chairs we can find out here thought we had two of the white chairs oh you know what i think there's another one in the uh inside inside the white ones i mean not what i wanted to put but hey i'll take it is that another one? Oh, yes oh yay this will eventually look pretty. <laughs> it's We just put a, all of our winter stuff underneath um, on this porch here, on the pool porch, just to cover it from the elements. So it's kind of messy now. And then of course there are some things that just, you know, were from fall. So that's why it is kind of messy in here. Um, that is a dry sink over here that I had upstairs at one point. There's some fall stuff, but, so I have another one of those white wicker chairs he's actually grabbing. Do you want to go out the other door? No, it's ice. Okay. Um, I thought I only had one of those. We have two. So that might look good on the porch. Just like, like I said before, it's just to, as a place filler, you know, it's kind of blocked a little bit, but it's a nice little place filler to put a nice little pillow and it just looks really cute. So. Let's go take those out to the front porch. Spring is hopefully coming here. The drip, drip, drips. <laughs> lots to do. So lots of fun things planned out here once the weather breaks. The fire pit area, the pool, and we're gonna see how that looks on the front porch. Um, right. Oh, cute. That's a cute little place filler, right? A little yeah, place filler. Good. The other one, good, good. Yeah. yeah, why don't we go get that? Wayne ended up grabbing the other chair since we had two, which was perfect. I only thought we had one. So let me move this and then he can bring the chair in. Then we'll decorate that. And we'll see how these chairs look. Maybe not exactly what I wanted, but they're free and I have them, so. Use what you got. So he's bringing the chairs in. They are beautiful, old, real wicker chairs. Yeah, real. Yeah. So for the time being, they're nice. I'm gonna find some pillows. Now we'll go shop the basement, <laughs> grab some pillows. And you're gonna clean the top of the lanterns off? Yeah. All right. I think those will work out here. I just don't know if these are going to look too I don't know if I'm gonna like this. So let's let's see about these lanterns. I'm not sure about the lanterns. What do you think with the lanterns too? Do you like the lanterns? Um are they too big? I think they're too much right now. Let me go downstairs and try to find some different lanterns too. So kind of good. Small ones in the pool house. Oh, which color? Black. They're black ones. Maybe let's try those. I think these might be too big. You want me to carry these back there? I, I like that little pop of black. 
But yeah, let's see what they look like without here. I think they might be too big for the space. Wayne is cleaning some smaller lanterns I found and I have these pillows that I'm gonna try here. Just very neutral. Just a little subtle pop of spring. I think it's cute for there for now. So I'll grab the other one and put it on the other chair. And with a few changes, it is now looking and feeling, well, not feeling, but looking more like spring. At least the snow continues to melt. Um, and I'm happy we had two of those chairs. I thought we only had one. Two is even better. I wish they were a little bit darker so they would pop against the brick, but I'm not worried about it. They're free, I have them, they work for now, and then maybe eventually I will find something thrifting. So he's cleaning off some lanterns that I had that were smaller. So in the meantime, let's put these in this basket. But then I also did find something out in the shed just to kind of tuck over here too. Just as I thought, there was light at the end of the tunnel. Another burst of snow. <laughs> oh, so please give me grace in this video. I'm just gonna plug away. Tomorrow will probably be warm and sunny. No, I wish. Uh, but anyways, we're just gonna pretend it is warm and sunny and springy. I'll be happy. So I'll be happy that this is, you know, done and enjoying it. Um, but I like this little basket down there, don't you? Isn't that pretty? And I like how the basket coordinates with the basket above. So simple, so pretty. I had this basket, of course, you know, I love thrifting baskets. So you could look at uh, the thrift store for a basket. Some of those pretty lilacs from um, Michael's in boom, easy, done. So I'm just waiting on the lanterns because I love that cozy glow. It's such a welcoming glow. And I think this will be done. And real quickly before I forget, so we do get direct sun here. You could spray the flowers with a uh, sun protectant. There's a lot of different kinds of sprays out there that help from fading. Um, I may do that, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Right now I just don't want it to snow. <laughs> so I'll decide on spraying them once the sun is out. Uh, but if you're interested in doing something similar and you're worried about fading, just spray them with some protectant and uh, that'll help them from fading. Wayne cleaned up these lanterns that I found in the basement. He's been such a big help today, hasn't he? And he's going to just add them here on the front porch. Okay, you guys, I think we are done here. Simple, easy, a few little changes. It now feels a little bit more springy, even though it doesn't look too springy out here. At least the porch looks a little less Christmassy and a little bit more springy and I just love these baskets and I hope you do too and I hope maybe you got some inspo from making these baskets too. They're so pretty. And then the basket down here too just adds a little pop on the ground. A few little spring touches for a spring front porch. Yay, the front porch is done. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that we did this, even considering the snow and the cold. Sure, it would have been nice to do a spring front porch on a nice, warm, sunny, spring-like day, but that's weather here in Buffalo. One day it could be cold and snowy, and the next day it could be warm, sunny, and almost summer-like. So I'm glad I did it. I really, I'm happy that even with the weather, all things considered, it's just, it now feels like a little springy out here so I can look outside and it just feels springy. So it's one less thing I have to worry about once the weather changes here. And I love the flowers, I love the baskets. Let me know in the comments what you like too. So happy I found those wicker chairs, 
changed out the lanterns that I had. So it's also nice shopping your home and finding things too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and make sure you also, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at mother time for lots of behind the scenes and stories and all the fun stuff too. You can also check out my blog mother time. And if you enjoyed this video, you can hit that little subscribe button. So you never miss a video like this. I have a new video also coming up in a few days too. a big thrifting haul. Wait till you guys see. I can't wait for you guys to see that video too. So thank you guys for joining me here today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.